So I'm going to show you how to uh, connect your tower halves to get them at the correct angles. First thing you do is you take the, we're using cardstock here, you can use cardboard, um, you can also cut something out of wood if you want to. This is just easy to do with cardstock. We take a piece of cardstock and trace our half of our tower onto it. So we have an exact cut out the size of our tower half, or tower side. Um, so once you have this, what you're going to do is get another piece of cardstock, okay, and mark the width. It's better to be inside the width here than outside, so you make it a little bit narrower so that this fits inside the legs of your tower, like so. Okay. Now you can use a straight edge. I'll use a piece of paper because it has a good 90 degree angle. You're going to make marks parallel and perpendicular to the bottom edge of your sheet of paper. Like, like so. Now you'll use the, the half of your tower, this part of your tower you've already cut out. Take this, the long side and line it up on that vertical line you did. So the point is at the bottom. Then you're going to mark across the bottom like so. So you have this angle. The reason you do that is so when you fold it, you have the angle because all sides will be angled in. Okay? You'll only build two sides and then you'll connect them. You don't build four sides and bring them all together. You build two sides and connect them. Same thing over here. Okay. Now, I'm going to use my pocket knife. Um, you can also use an exacto knife or a razor blade um, to do this. You're going to score the paper. With cardstock, it's difficult to fold. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure here. I don't want to cut all the way through. Just enough that it makes folding easier. As you can see, I didn't cut all the way through it, but it makes it much easier to fold along that line. Okay. Now, get my scissors and cut out along this line you drew right here. Okay. And then Fold the other side too. Okay. When you stand this up, this is the same angle as your side, right here. When it's standing like that, those are the same size. They're the same angle. Okay. So what you're going to do now, you're going to want to cut down the side so they're not as long. two of these. I've already made two. This one's a little shorter. That's not a real big deal. You look there and see I've made two. Okay. And I recommend taking your cutting out two sides So, okay. Now you're going to take your tape and attach it, the side, the two sides you cut out, to your angled pieces here. Tape the same thing at the top.
put a piece on the inside just to be safe. This is boring, but it's important. You may need to cut the tops of your angled parts off just so that they fit together. If you do, that's okay. two halves and lay them on this side. As you can see, this one was a little too wide. This one was just right. Okay, and as you can see, the paper fits in between the two outer outermost supports, like this. On the other one, the other side, I made it a little bit too wide, and the pieces don't fit in between. Okay. Now that you have this constructed, on your sides where you have your tops, you're going to take your pin mark along the top straight hopefully ideally across there if you need to you can use your straight edge to cut to, to mark across between these two sides okay I'll mark this after I cut this this these pieces off here Now that you have this cut off, next thing you need to do is attach your bridge sides. Tower. Sorry, tower sides <laughs> to it. Um, you want to make sure that when you attach them, the two ends here are at the very top. <clears throat> See how that lines up? Right there. So that will be off the ground. It will not be on the ground. That's okay. That's, that's expected. The reason for that is when it's standing up, it's this high. But if you remember, these are an angle, and so it brings it down, okay? So, tape to the top so that your top will be square. After the top is taped, you can tape to the bottom. Make sure that's held down good. If you want to, you can mark the bottom and cut that off. That's okay. Now make sure the other side is taped where it needs to be. And then tape the bottom. And then you'll, you'll 
take your pieces and you'll connect the tops like so and you can add your cross pieces in and connect the bottoms like, like so.